And she says to me, you need years and years of dance training. Yeah. And I said to her, I was like, really? I'm doing the same choreography as you, but I'm in a Pluto costume. <laughs> Welcome to season two of Dance Dish. We have so much to talk about. I have one of my favorite dancers here, somebody that's been smacked by the tabloid stick a couple of times. Chris Judd, welcome to Dance Thank Dish. You. Thank you. Hi. I want to ask you how you started. So you you didn't emerge as, you know, tabloid fodder just out of nowhere. You had a you had beginnings as what? Where? I kind of fell into dance. My dad was in the Air Force, so I grew up a military brat, and I grew up in the Philippines, Hawaii, and Florida. As a child, I grew up playing sports, so I was an athlete. Mm -hmm. And so I was in, when Naturally I made it to- physical. Yes, so I grew up playing baseball from five, all the way up to high school, I was a basketball player. College, I played basketball, uh, and I played golf. Golf is my favorite sport. Golf? Um, yeah, so I pursued it at one point in my life. Really? I'm still trying to pursue it. I'm 51 now. You're 51? 51. Oh my Where? god. Where? Which no part of you? 51. I am Sorry 51. Uh, I have, still have aspirations to play professional golf in the Champions Tour. In college, I was, a fr I was friends with a, with a guy named Scott who was in the military as a short order cook. And he was moving down to Orlando to be with his family because his, his mm. dream was to be a, an actor mm. at Disney. And I was like, Wow, Disney sounds fun. Hey, I'll move to Orlando. And so when I moved to Orlando, I was like, well, what am I going to do? And I was like, I'll audition for the character department. Yeah. What else? So, what else would you do when you moved to Orlando? So, right. yeah. How old are you at this point? So, so I was two years angles? into college. I was two years into okay. college. Uh, I was playing basketball in, in college. Playing ball, I jumped and land on someone's ankle and blow it out. So six weeks later, first day back, rehearsal, I mean not rehearsal, practice, um, I blow out the other one. So I ended up quitting school. So I moved on to Orlando at $600. And my first job at Disney was the electrical light parade. Where at this point, did you have aspirations to be a no, dancer? No, not at all. I was just like, actor? hey, I'm going to go do this. It was and just the lights? No, I was just like, hey, I'm going to go to Disney. Let's work, whatever. And, and what did you do? And I was the arch pusher. So I was an arch pusher in the small world section. What's that mean? I'm sorry, what's yeah, an arch what's pusher? arch pusher? So an arch pusher is... The euphemism? I had to push this gigantic arch with this porcelain doll on it. And in my section in, oh, in my section in the parade was the small world section. So when the parade goes down parade route, it's the small world section you're singing, it's a small world after oh, all. Please don't over and it. over and over again. It's on repeat. <laughs> don't sing it. So but my partner, my buddy, who I had to partner with for the entire summer was Wayne Brady. Oh, oh my god. What? Nicest guy in yeah. show business. Famously yeah. so. so he was my childhood best friend. Love oh my that. God. And uh, I used to pick him up at his grandmother's house every day to go to work. Um, and so we did It's a Small World after all for the entire summer. <laughs> Segwaying into that, I did a show called um, Disney Mania. I was the pink hippo from Fantasia. Cute. Of did course. you bring the so, costume? Is so, that yeah. it? So doing Swan like oh, da 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 da, like like throwing the doves of, uh, in front of the castle and whatever. And then I was like Pluto, whatever. And so <laughs> we danced with the kids of the kingdom, who were the professional singers and dancers of, the, of whatever. And so my partner, I had a humongous crush on. And over the time of the rehearsal, I thought it was a, a sure thing. <laughs> to, to be like, if I ask her out, it was locked we, will, uh. we will go out, you know? So, so I, ask, I ask her out, and she's like, I'm sorry, I don't date characters. Oh. Uh, with the oh, quote. Like, she did snap. the air quotes. No. She did you know you've been in Disney She did the air quotes. You know that. I don't date right characters. Now blue, right behind she did you. the air quotes. She missed out. I'm sorry, but come wow. on. Where's Nick? I think it's a horse joke. Anyway, sorry, so, and then, Something inside me clicked, and, and, and I was like, well, well, then how do I get your job? And she says to me, you need years and years of dance training. Yeah. And I said to her, I was like, really? I'm doing the same choreography as you, but I'm in a fucking Pluto costume. <laughs> I was like, you give me one year, I'll be dancing here at Disney. 
date. Gold. It was That's a date. A lesson, yeah, I love that. It was like, this is a, a date. Yeah. One year. Mm -hmm. January 1, my New Year's resolution was to take jazz class. I walked in like my shit didn't stink, and I got completely humbled right away. Uh, <laughs> universal. I could. I could. But yeah, I couldn't <laughs> touch my toes. I couldn't. And so I immersed myself into class, and I was like, it, I need to like fast track this. Shit. So I'm like, <laughs> one week beginning jazz, advanced jazz, beginning ballet, and so on and so on and so on. Wow. I was and you working during all the day that on a Disney World salary. No, <laughs> no. But what's funny is, is that. In the 90s, <laughs> class Let's was like 10 bucks. Let's not forget My favorite fact. <laughs> you know, scholarship and, and you know what I mean? And, and so free. within eight months, I got my job at Disney. And I've been dancing ever since. Oh my gosh. Girls. No, didn't date the girl. What's funny is that I was pursuing matter. golf at the time, playing the mini tours, and she ended up marrying a golf pro, which is so ironic. Right. But. but. Freaking me out. But Chris, oh my god, I love this story. Isn't this funny? We're gonna do a dance dish toast to being free to fail, falling on your face, moving to Orlando, with even with busted ankles, getting into a Pluto suit, and surviving enough to get yourself yes. to yes. the point of being a star dancer and being free to <laughs> fail and knowing when you need technique and setting a goal and getting it. Yes. Cheers. 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 Dance Cheers. dish. Dance dish. Dance dish. Dance dish. Dance dish. You have to say dance dish. Dance dish. Is that it? Dance dish. Yes. Work it, kids. Five, six, seven, eight.